Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif. So today I'm going to share my story, my journey of a cloud engineer. So it's a seven years of journey. At the very beginning, my yearly salary was $3,000. And after seven years, my salary is 150K. I'll discuss how many jobs I have switched to reach this uh, far and uh, what was my strategy. I'll discuss my strategies and what are my upcoming uh, goals for my career. So without further delay, let's get started. So it all started in 2016 when I was a fresh graduate. So I finished my bachelor's in computer science. I was pretty much kind of like confused what should I do next. I was looking for multiple options, multiple opportunities, but I was uh, from Bangladesh. So, you know, in Bangladesh, the competitions are very, very high. So in order to stand out, I was looking for some other techniques. How can I actually move ahead in my career? So at the time I heard about cloud computing. Before that, I never heard of uh, cloud computing. So uh, it was uh, the first stepping stone for me. So uh, there was a program launched by government and I, I enrolled in the program. It was a three months of program. So uh, they were helping us to actually learn AWS, Amazon Web Service. Once I started looking into it, I was so amazed after seeing all the powers of AWS. Then I started to learn and I was so much fascinated about it that within a month I set for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification and I passed it with 90% of uh, mark. It was the changing moment of my career. So after getting the certification, I uh, started looking for jobs and luckily I got one job. Uh, let me tell you one more thing that in my country in Bangladesh, the uh, as an entry level uh, cloud engineer, the salary is not that much. For me, I was getting near around like uh, in dollars, $250 per month. So I was doing some calculations because I spent a lot of money for my bachelor's because I finished my bachelor's from a private institute. So I paid a lot. So when I was doing a, com a comparison, if I want to earn that amount of money that I spent for my education from this job, it will take me way, way long time. And uh, for that reason, I continued the job for a few months and then I quit. Because at the same time, I was looking for some part-time jobs or maybe some freelancing work from the upper platform. Uh, and luckily, I got a, a full-time contract job from an uh, Australian firm and the salary was almost $650 per month. So for me, it was a very a good salary at that moment because uh, if I compare 250 with 650, definitely I'll go for 650. So I quit my job, on-site job, and I started doing my freelancing work. So I continued the job for a year and uh, do, throughout the job, I learned a lot about cloud computing. I worked on many real-time projects. I work on chatbot uh, implementation. I worked on some DevOps task, mainly all the concept that I learned from the certification. I got an opportunity where I can implement those uh, controls or implement those architecture. It was a very good learning phase for my career. After that year, I was looking for some better opportunities because I got a lot of experience back um, after one year. So I want to use my knowledge and uh, get into a better position. So at the meantime, I applied for multiple jobs using the Upwork platform because uh, I, at that point, I was totally relying on Upwork because from the Upwork, I'm getting all the contracts and jobs. So, uh, and uh, luckily I got another job offer this time from a US uh, firm. So. This time, my salary went up to uh, 1,850 USD, which is a massive jump. So I really like that job. So yeah, at that time, I was uh, so amazed that yeah, using the only platform Upwork, I'm getting this out of jobs. $1,850 uh, was a good amount of money in my country. It's almost uh, near around two lakhs in my currency. And uh, yeah, it was a good salary for me to actually live a very decent life. Uh, I continued the job for two years, but uh, all of a sudden one thing clicked my mind. This is not a permanent solution. I want to make big impact. I wanted to push my limit. I want to see how far I can go. So after two years, then uh, I came to a decision that yes, I need to go to abroad for my master's. So I tried to uh, find uh, some uh, universities, a shortlist of universities and also some programs uh, 
by then I had a very good experience on cloud computing. So I was uh, trying to find another field of uh, um, subject and a field of expertise. So at that moment, one thing that is stand out that is uh, cyber security. So I shortlisted some courses there. And on 2019 January, I came to Canada for my master's. Uh, my university was Concord University of Edmonton, and I studied their master's in information system assurance management, which is like 50% of cybersecurity and 50% of information audit. During these two years of program, I learned a lot about cloud computing, security, uh, overall cybersecurity, and also uh, the standards and frameworks related to security controls. During these two years, I didn't just only study, I also continued my remote job, the US job. So um, the reason I continued the job because if I just worked as a part-time job in here in Canada, I won't get that much of money. But if I continue the remote job, then uh, yeah, definitely it's way more than comparing to the uh, part-time job in Canada. So I continued that. And uh, also in the meantime, in these two years, I uh, cleared a few certifications related to cloud and uh, security field. For instance, I cleared CompTIA Security Plus, I cleared AWS, Solution, uh, AWS DevOps Engineer Certification and a few more because I just want to be sure that I am prepared enough for the job field. My university is in Edmonton, Alberta. So uh, I finished my master's in uh, December 2022. And after that, I started look for uh, jobs using LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn platform. And uh, believe it or not, within three weeks, I landed a job, which was the best day of my life. So it was a great accomplishment. So uh, I definitely say the preparation I did during these two years was the reason that I got the job. So I created a very good LinkedIn profile. I cleared some certification. Uh, the job that I landed, it was in uh, Toronto. So in January 2021, I moved to Toronto. And uh, this is a milestone for my career because uh, this time my salary went up to 90K per year. This is an amazing feeling, guys. Uh, this was my first uh, on-site job, so I was really excited. I used to go to office every day. I met a, a lot of uh, colleagues and um, built a very good relationships with the uh, uh, colleagues. So yeah, I was enjoying my work. So I worked there for one more year. And uh, f at one point I felt like, let's try something bigger than this. So after one year, I uh, again started looking for uh, some new jobs. So, so before that part, let me make sure, uh, let me clear one more thing. That is, uh, in the meantime, I also uh, continued my studies. I cleared some certifications as well. You can see all of my certifications from my LinkedIn profile. I'm gonna uh, add my LinkedIn profile link under the description section. Please have a look. So after one year, I started looking for jobs, but I was not uh, actively looking for it. I'm more of like a passive stuff. So uh, within a few weeks, I got a call from IBM. So uh, IBM, when I heard about IBM, I thought, wow, uh, this is a dream come true. So uh, I became very excited and I, uh, uh, I set for the uh, interview uh, interviews and uh, after three or four interviews, uh, I got selected, uh, which was a very amazing feeling because uh, throughout my childhood, I just learned about IBM from books, that IBM is a very big uh, IT corporation. So I was really excited. And, uh, um, and at that point, I had to make a decision because I was really enjoying my work. But this kind of opportunity comes once in a life. So I just uh, couldn't resist uh, and uh, say no to the opportunity so i said yes uh, it was uh, really hard for me to actually say goodbye to all of my colleagues but this is part of life if you want to grow you have to be alone this is a rule of nature so i just follow that and uh, now uh, let's talk about the salary part at this time uh, my salary went up to six figure first time so uh before that i always heard about people getting salary six figure salary um, at one point I thought like it's kind of like impossible to get, reach there uh, it's very hard but when I uh, reached to that point I felt like yes I have accomplished something because maybe 600 k six uh, figure is uh, not a big amount for 
IT profession. Maybe many people get that, but remember, I started my career um, with uh, maybe like $250 per month. So for me, this is a big deal. So I started working for IBM and uh, I was uh, very happy. I got a lot of uh, good wishes from uh, all of my friends and families. So things were going great. Uh, after working few months, six to eight months, uh, I realized one thing. So, so far in my career, I have worked for startups, for small companies and mid companies. This is the first time I'm working for an enterprise company. So things are not the same. Uh, here, if I want to do something, I have to follow certain rules. I have to follow some, some regulations. I can't make a decision. So I can, I can uh, kind of like uh, just uh, do my part of the job. So for me, uh, I thought this is a kind of like, uh, this is somehow uh, limiting my knowledge. So if I uh, will be there for a long period of time, then I'll just uh, do certain stuff that I was not happy about it. Maybe it's a way of thinking for me, the uh, big corporation is not my thing, maybe, but I was not maybe uh, that mature to actually do that because I wanted to learn new. I want to uh, learn something new. I want to always uh, want to upgrade my skill sets. So after six to eight months, then again, I was passively looking for jobs and uh, then uh, I got one offer. Uh, which uh, kind of like I thought, first of all, it's not just the salary. It's the company culture that I liked the most because I had a direct interview with the CEO. I can't have a direct interview with CEO if I work in IBM because there is a very long chain for that. I have my manager, my manager has his or her manager. So it's a very big a corporate ladder that I have to climb. So I have the meeting with the CEO and I got really convinced that yes this is the company that i want to work for and uh, i thought like yes this is the company where i can share my opinion i can make a big change i can have a very big impact so i took that job offer which is the last one so far and still i'm doing it and this time i got the salary of one hundred fifty thousand dollar per year so for me this is definitely a very big milestone uh, Right now, I'm 30 years old. Maybe I will work as a uh, IT person, maybe another 30 years. A lot of things will change. But if I want to uh, highlight my career, I will always remember my these seven years of my life. So if I look back my seven years of journey, so I think I can summarize a few uh, key points that help me to actually reach this uh, far. The first thing I'll definitely say persistence. So uh, whenever I reached one goal, I just didn't stop. I didn't say that, yes, that's good enough for me. I can live my life with that because I am always afraid of comfort zone. Once you are in the comfort zone, then your growth is pretty much, you are done with your gro growth. So I never thought like, yes, I have accomplished things that I should take that I should take granted the rest of my life. I always wanted to explore. I always wanted to know more. I always want to have new certification. I always wanted to upgrade my skill sets. So I just followed my passion and that helped me to get here. Uh, before sharing my second key points, I want to add uh, one very important uh, quote from Steve Jobs. So he once said that uh, work is a very big part of your life. So if you don't love what you are working on, then uh, you won't be happy. So uh, I this thing really hit me really hard. So uh, I'm really glad at the very beginning of my career, I found cloud computing, AWS, Google Cloud, Azure technologies. So once I started to learn that, uh, I didn't track my time, how many hours I'm spending to actually learn, even for the cloud computing and also the uh, cybersecurity. I really enjoy to learn about cybersecurity too. So here the advice is to please look for the things that you love to do. Once you find that, just stick to it and you'll definitely be successful. The third and the last key point that really helped me to actually reach here, I think it's uh, the small, uh, taking small steps. 
because I never thought like uh, seven years ago, I never thought like, yes, uh, I want to be there after seven or 10 years. I always thought the about the immediate goals. How can I achieve that? So uh, this is a very big changing factor because uh, if we want to think about your 10 years of uh, growth, how can uh, you be there? Things will be complicated. You can't uh, find out how you'll do it. So for me, it's always better to actually celebrate the small success. So this is what I did. I always try to uh, get better day by day, not like I want to be there in 10 years or five years because then I'll make things complicated and my brain won't process things. It will be overloaded with all the um, affirmation and information. So always uh, try to be better every day. The reason why I created this YouTube channel is that I want to share my knowledge. So uh, back seven years ago, I didn't have any mentor. So I have to learn everything in a hard way. I have to try multiple things here and there and some worked and some didn't. But uh, I want to share my knowledge with you guys. I want to create a community where we'll share our knowledge. We'll help each other to be a better version. We want to help um, to be a very good uh, cloud engineer, a cybersecurity expert, or maybe good as stock market. So please like and subscribe to my channel to uh, see this sort of video. I am planning to upload videos on a regular basis. And uh, I want to thank you guys again because I know time is the most important thing in life and you guys are watching uh, my videos and investing your time. So I really want to uh, give you back the best value that I can. So that's all for today. Goodbye for now.